welcome back. It's time for another Windows video. I'll demonstrate today how to upgrade a Windows Server Evaluation Edition to the Standard Edition without losing any data or installing any new files. This information is applicable to the Server Standard Evaluation for Server 2012, Server 2016, Server 2019, and Server 2022. Let's return to the procedure. Open the server activation settings first. To see the current edition and activation, click on settings from the start menu. Now select update and security. And then select activation from the left sidebar. Here, we can see the name of the server edition as well as its activation status. As of right now, I am using the Windows Server 2022 Standard Evaluation Edition, and it is not activated. To make it activate, we must change this evaluation to the standard version first. To make this evaluation standard, simply execute the command that is currently visible on the screen. I created a tool to make it simpler to run because it's a lengthy command and you could type it incorrectly. Here is a download link for that quick tool. Download link will also be included in the description of this video. Copy the download link. Open your browser. And paste it there or click the link in the video description. Download progress is visible in the left-hand corner. There is a warning appears on my Microsoft Edge browser. Since you downloaded it from outside of the Microsoft Store, it's just a warning, don't be scared. You won't see this warning. If you are using Google Chrome browser, choose Keep by clicking the three dots icon. After that, click on Show More. Select Keep Anyway. As soon as the downloaded file appears in this list, left-click on it and grant any permissions that are requested. Now, it is requesting the product key. Enter your server activation key you bought. Key should be in your order email. Contact me if you don't have a genuine key. The description of this video will include contact information. After entering the 25-letter product key, press the Enter key on the keyboard. It will immediately begin the conversion process, which could take 2 to 5 minutes, depending on how quickly your computer is. Now it wants me to restart the computer. To restart your device, press the Y letter key on your keyboard. It will restart your device right away and complete the process for you. Also it will install the required updates. Now enter your login password. Close the server manager. Let's recheck the activation and the addition name now. Click on Start Menu, select Settings. Click on Update and Security. 
Select activation from the left sidebar. And here you go. Our server has been upgraded to standard version. And it says it's activated with our key as well. We successfully transitioned from the evaluation version to the standard version. That's all I have for today. If you run into any problems or errors, don't hesitate to contact me using the details in this video's description. Thank you for watching. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.